Now you can use other uh, engine like DuckDB to write into Unity catalog, which is super cool. Which means you can build your own applications using DuckDB, Trino, or other engines and write and read from, from UC. And this is super, super cool. And it's already available. I think this is this is something I need to mention. It's not in a few weeks, but there you can just go to the repo. I will I will put it in the uh, in the link description of the video. And you have also our I think they had yesterday their first uh, community uh, meeting. So uh, make sure to join. Yeah, I saw I saw that. Uh... Dan, Dan made, made it, yes. Yeah, exactly, uh, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so also big announcement was uh, like integration of Delta and Iceberg. Yes. So, so I I hope that though that both formats will be like unified. That uh, that the one format something like Delta Iceberg uh, will will come from that. Yes. So I I'm really happy with that announcement too. Yeah. Uh, so regular acquisition. Yes, yeah, so, so I think we had a lot of uh, interesting announcements. Yes, and I think they will be keep coming because, for example, for native connectors, there is some um, someone counted that there is like one thousand five hundred possible native connectors, <laughs> which could be built yet yeah, because there is so so much platform and databases on the market. Uh, so there is a lot of uh, work. Uh, Above us, yes, and uh, uh, and also I think in in um, next years we will have uh, like I think more more boring announcements are coming because uh, we as a, like uh, data engineers we will have to work more on the things like governance and security, managing private data. So so in my opinion, we have really like the best platform in the world to manage it, Databricks. And now we need to add to that platform all, all this small, small and boring like stuff and doing what is missing. Yes. So sometimes there are like small announcements, like uh, there was this now option added budget. Yes, that you can specify budget. Yeah. But, yeah. So 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 there are a lot of the small like uh, small ones which make this platform like the perfect one. Yes, because. Uh, everybody of us know what what is missing. Yes, and we can add all this. Uh, all these pieces, and I think Databricks is like uh, the best place because of this mixing of like enterprise style with community. Yes, that we can uh, we, we can achieve uh, really a lot. Yes, so all uh, because what was frustrating me like ten years ago when I was working on a lot of different platforms was always this lack of engagement that there was no such a community and. For example, you say that you, you put in some backlog that you would like to have some feature, and then you waited five years, uh, like often with Microsoft products, yes, and after five years, the, nothing changed, yes. <laughs> it was still in the backlog, I don't know, to export some report or something, yes. Uh, and in Databricks is that uh, I'm really amazed because you say that, I don't know, we, we need such a... Uh, such a function. I, I remember that like I requested some small functions, some, uh, some small improvements. Sometimes it was like, I don't know how, how you click uh, run button on the, in the notebook and all these things and all was done. So all improvements are done really fast. Yes. Thanks to Databricks like company and thanks to, thanks to community, which can always contribute and, uh, and make make it real like the variant type. Yes. yes. But just, and, you, can, and, you can say just, it's like for from Spark, like done by community and Databricks, something which will solve like a lot of problems. And that were that were that's what I was about to say. What I like about Databricks that the platform is built by the community for the community. And this is, I think this is something very, very important. And you mentioned just the fact of delivering fast. So I've seen the notebooks, like in terms of kind of like small components of the platform. Notebooks has been evolving so fast. Like you've seen, I've had the possibility to do debugging inside the notebooks. Mm -hmm. You can uh, uh, like do the exploration with just uh, some, uh, you're uh, doing some drag and drop. They're adding the, uh, the um, how do you call it? 
uh, the uh, the markdown like better UI simplifying like your the dev experience and this is only a small component like and all the others like workflows have also been like advancing so fast they are adding they just announced like the looping you can now loop on the uh, workflow you can have triggers with data tables so because mm. I've seen some customers struggling how should I uh, when should I trigger my job because sometimes the data does not arrive I don't know at 10 a.m. And now they can trigger this job when the data is updated on a specific one or many, many other tables. So I've seen the, all the different products evolving so fast. And of course, Varian, this is also a highlight of the uh, Data and AI Summit. So it's going to be part of, it's already available in, um, I think, uh, the DPR 15.2. And it's part of, part of Spark 4. So variant type is uh, an easy way to uh, work with JSON. So before we needed to uh, to parse this JSON into string to make sure that you uh, try to access this data easily. But it was a bit, bit slow. So you had the two options, either infer the schema, which is not always good, or declare the schema, the schema which is not always flexible. So with this variant type, it's uh, it's uh, there is an implementation implementation of a bitmap how you can track the different rows and you can just use the function parse underscore json add your type uh, your 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 json then you can access it easily and access all the different columns and it's up to ten times faster than the uh, actual method you're you're using and variant is hundred percent open source the code is already mm. available on GitHub. Yeah, for me the most important is that when you get JSON and the schema is changing, you can you can just use it, save it as a variant type, and the fields will be in the uh, in the correct uh, format. Yes, like it's it, some part of JSON can be integer, some string, and the next time it disappearing from that JSON, so it can be all handled. So it was. Uh, for developers and data engineers, this handling JSON was a big, uh, big headache. Yes, and now it's solved. So, I think uh, like information for everyone. Yes, if you have any like constant problem with data bricks, as you know that something should be improved, uh, it can be done. Yes, and uh, it's uh, it's really amazing. Yeah, and you also talked about the uh, uh, iceberg. So. I don't know if you know, I've seen the announcement, but as part of Delta 4.0, uh, Delta Uniform is now GA, mm -hmm. uh, which is good, which means you can use Delta table and generate metadata for Iceberg and Hoodie tables as well. 